day what's going on guys welcome back to another YouTube video in today's YouTube video I'm gonna be showing you how to download and apply your data packs to your mine hut server it's pretty easy when it comes to adding it into any other servers but mine hut it gets a little tricky so I'm gonna be showing you how to do that so let's get into it so the first thing you want to do is download your data packs um I'm gonna be getting them from the Exumavoid website link in the description if you want to get these yourself I'm not gonna do a bunch I'm just gonna do one so you scroll through, you pick you pick as many as you want, so you click, I want these, I want that, that, and then you click download it, and it downloads all the ones you clicked. But we're just going to do this one on the bottom. So I click it, and then click download, and then it downloads. So now you want to go to your downloads file, and you will have this zip folder. You want to right click it, and then click extract all, extract. And then it's going to extract this, and it's going to pull up this right here. Now you're going to have to extract this one as well and then it will pull this up. So just leave that there and then go to the Minehut website. So this is if you already have your server. What you want to do is you want to activate your server. It may take a few seconds to start up. All you have to do is wait. So you don't have to fully activate your server. It is still starting but now there is this continue button. So I want to press that and it will take me to here. Now in the top right corner we want to click file manager then we want to scroll down and click world and then we want to go and click data packs and then when you get here there will be this thing that says bucket don't worry about that click this little create a folder button and you want to call it whatever you want honestly um let's just say heads because you get because we're doing a heads one this doesn't really matter but now you want to click on that and then click data and then create it may not create as soon as you type it you may actually have to type it a few times for it to come up but then you want to click on data and it's going to take you to here and what you want to do now is open this folder again that we left open and click on data double click it and you can see that it says main in minecraft now we want to go back here and type in main create that folder and then create a minecraft folder so what I'm actually doing right now is just copying whatever is in this thing here so what I want to do now is click main then open this click main on here and then we can see that we need to add at advancements we need to add that create click go back to here click advancements and then go back to here add main and then once we see once we go here and click main we have come to a stop with these two now we want to open main on here we want to click this upload files button and then scroll down and click the select files button now you want to go to your downloads go to your vanilla tweaks go to your player heads go to your data your main your advancements your main and then control click both of those and then click upload and those will both be here but that is not it we need to now go back to this section because we need to now click minecraft and then we need to go onto here and go back to that section and then click Minecraft and then here it says loot underscore tables you want to go back here and add loot underscore oh <laughs> you don't spell underscores you do the little underscores button and then tables okay just like that and then you open that so what I'm doing I'll say it again is I'm just copying it so I click that and so I need to add entities entities and so now I need to open the entities folder go back to here open entities and we can see we came to a stop we click upload file we click select file we go to downloads vanilla tweaks player head data minecraft loot tables entities and player JSON you click that or whatever that says you click that and then you want to go all the way back to where we put the data section so here it is data now we want to click upload file go to here and go to downloads vanilla tweaks, player head drops, and then the one below data, we want to upload that. So basically what you're doing is you're done with that. Basically you just, whatever file or data pack you're uploading, you really just want to copy it exactly the way it is. Like copy all the folders, data, main, just copy it. Some will have more, some will have less. But the last step is to then restart your server. Once you restart it, and then you get back on, once it's fully restart, you will now have that data pack. So that is really all the steps to putting your data packs on your Minehut servers. 
it's not too hard it depends on what kind of data pack you're downloading it will be harder if there's more files in it but it's really simple i hope this tutorial was helpful i'll see you next time in a brand new youtube video either on friday or a tutorial in the meantime see ya